showing you how to set up Qt and I started installing the libraries I actually got the wrong ones the debug libraries doesn't matter if you do install them but the main ones you need are the Qt Mac open source 4.8.4 uh, libraries so these are the libraries that are um, here the smaller one of the two downloads and what that will do is in install the entire tool chain for Qt 4.8 now, unlike the um, one that we've got here that is in the Qt 5.0.02, and unlike the old SDK before uh, uh, Digia took over, this actually gets installed in slash developer. So if we go to slash developer, um, tools, there's this directory called Qt, and you can see there's a whole Qt toolchain here with various bits and pieces, designer, linguist and stuff like that. But most importantly is a version of QMake. Um, and this version of QMake is the version for 4.8.4. And this is actually what Qt Creator uses as part of the new kits things for allowing us to choose toolchains. So if I run Qt Creator now, what we can do is we can add this as a tool chain to our projects and everything else. So in Qt here I'm going to um, go to the menu sorry the records in the way that so um, go to Qt and go to preferences here and what we'll see here is that we've got um, build and run here and there's this new thing that comes with Qt now called kits and kits are basically sets of build kits so by default it's this uh, Qt5 clang and what we're going to do is we're going to add a new kit um, at the moment it's coming up unnamed what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it Qt 4.8 it's for desktop so that's fine and it's got compilers and everything else and what we want to do is we want to add a new Qt version to this so what I'm going to do is go to Qt versions and again I'm going to add a new one and what this is looking for is the um, QMake because the QMake executable will run this so if we look now at um, this it's actually come up to the correct directory for what we're looking for here already so it defaults to look in here and what we've got to do is choose the QMake executable there click on OK and you'll see it's come up and it's it's discovered it, it's run it, it's found out what version it's there and everything else so that's been added to my system we can accept that as that version and if we click on apply that will get added now if we go back to kits what we can do now is choose the new Qt version for my 4.8 um, so now it's going to use version 4.8 everything else run locally, desktop and everything else we'll just leave as is for now again the tool chain and everything you can see it's finding all the different tool chains I'll keep that as Clang 64 bit I prefer using Clang to G++ so if we click OK now, that will give us the ability now to choose when we want to create a new project, whether we use Qt4 or Qt5. And in the next video, I'll show you how to download NGL and build it with Qt4.